What is up, Thrill Seekers? Today, my dad and I are here at SeaWorld San Antonio, the place that has always been absolutely amazing to animals. We are here to do a couple things. Number one, ride Texas Stingray. Number two, of course, Alec is here from Coaster Studios, which is super cool. Probably gonna bump into him. But most importantly, just spend an amazing Father's Day with my father. Let's roll that intro. I did make a video just last week um, about all of the safety measures that this park is taking. So go click up here to watch that video. I uploaded it um, pretty much exactly a week ago today. Um, Alec from Coaster Studios, I saw that on his story, he was pretty much right here six minutes ago. So, hey, you know. I guess we'll see where he is. Let's go on down. Ride Texas Stingray, the new GCI that opened this year in 2020 before the coronavirus pandemic. Um, yeah. So this part of the park over here is actually closed um, until 11 is what they said. So apparently the only ride that's open currently is steel eel um and maybe wave breaker i'm not sure he didn't really say anything about wave breaker but yeah we're gonna go ride those two rides at least um and then i'm assuming that we'll just circle back around um by 11 and get on on that beauty over there texas thing right also construction update they are doing construction on what is believed to be um, a couple new additions, some sort of thrill flat ride, um, as well as maybe a mock power splash. Here we are, coming up on the entrance of Eel Ride of Steel. Wait, Ride of Steel? Wait then, does that mean that... No! I have spotted a wild Alec. Chill guys, chill, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is gonna be it, this is gonna be it. Nice, come on, I beg, I beg, I beg. First capture ever on Pokemon Go. One roll, two rolls, three rolls. Woo, baby, our first ever capture. What is up? Hi, I'm Jay. Yeah? Jay, like yeah, the letter J. Right. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually just waiting for the bag policy. Ah, so uh, got you. Other people ride. I've already been here before. Fair enough. Yeah, have you, is that it a cool park? Yes, it is. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's no, a great ride. I still have not been on Texas Stingray. Me neither. Yeah. Atlanta, so oh, okay. Why don't they open that side of the park at 11? Right. So right after they get off, we're gonna head over there. If you want Sweet. To. Yeah, sure. So yeah, if you wanna get on now too. All right. I yeah, I'll I'll do a ride and then I'll meet up with you yeah, after. Sounds great. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Mean, y'all see you around, right? All right. Cool. Man, he's such a like an awesome person. Here we go. Like I thought they would. They are only loading every other row on the train. So here it is. Here we go. They are making people just sit on down over here, but we can request a row. So yeah, let's get on. Alrighty, we just rode at Steel Eel. That is an amazing ride. The airtime on that is absolutely insane. I mean, really like people complain about the transitions. I've never really been bothered by them. Um, I just really can appreciate the insane um, and amazing airtime that you really can get on that ride. So um, we have met up with Alec, he's right there. Uh, we're basically just gonna hang out with him a little bit. I believe that we are making our way over to Texas Stingray um, because Wave Breaker right here is not open right now. Um, and 
Texas Stingray opens at 11 and it is currently like 10.50ish. So we're gonna head over, uh, ride that, first ride on that, that's gonna be awesome. And yeah. Man, I'm so sad that this isn't open. All I wanted to do was save the turtles, you know? First I got the metal straws, now I just wanted to ride this coaster. Save the turtles, man. Alrighty, Wave Breaker is testing right now um, with someone on it. Um, and then they just opened up this park. So we're probably going to go straight to Texas Stingray because why not? Ah, they are sanitizing um, Steel Eel right now. Here we go. First ride of the day on Texas Stingray. Credit number 152, I believe, right here on Texas Stingray. Man, that ride is so insane. I mean, the airtime, especially on that first drop, absolutely amazing. Um, the pacing throughout the ride is super good. Overall, it's just a great ride. Uh, personally, I do prefer uh, Steel Eel just by a little bit. Um, and the, really, the only reason uh, for that is just because I would say that this ride definitely focuses a lot on overbanked turns um, and laterals um, versus just straight up airtime um, versus Steel Eel, which is basically just airtime hill after airtime hill after airtime hill, really. Um, and I love airtime. Um, in the wonderful words of Taylor Bybee, I just want airtime. I just want airtime. Alrighty, I just got a ride in the front row. I definitely do prefer the back because you get a lot more airtime. But the front is very aggressive. It seemed to really like whip you around those turns and really like slam you into the sides um, of your seats. So that was pretty fun. If you like more aggressive rides, then I would say the front might be your thing. But if you like more airtime, then definitely the back. Uh, we are going to go over onto Journey to Atlantis. No, not that one. No, the other, the other one. There you go. Yeah, that one. That one right there. We're going to go to Journey to Atlantis. They seem to just be running test ones right now. Not too sure why, but alrighty. But because of that, there's actually like kind of a line here. Man, Journey to Atlantis is such a hidden gem of this park. It's really, really fun. Um, definitely a great way to cool off, especially on a super hot Texas summer day. I believe that we're heading on over to Steel Eel and Wave Breaker, which are right there behind me. So yeah, let's do it. Both amazing rides.
man that's such a great ride oh man just got off of a wave breaker right here that is a great ride and um, unfortunately we i was not able to save the the turtles was not able to save the turtles and instead i had to save the stupid sea lions like no one cares about the sea lions like where are the turtles really but it was still a fun ride um the launches launches are a lot more forceful than i would say that than you would expect them to be um and overall it's just such a great ride definitely not something that you should miss Alrighty, from here we're going to be taking a ride on great blue yeah that coaster is navy that is not white not even close to white that's like opposite of white but like yeah we're gonna go ride great blue now it's gonna be great it's a batman the ride clone 20 minutes 20 minutes away from another batman the ride clone all the batman the ride clones here it goes Oh yeah, fair enough. Okay, who does that? Like, can you, can you, can you model the incorrect for me real quick? There you go. That's how you gotta ride it. Like, who would do that? <laughs> I mean, I guess someone did because it's on the sign. Bruh. There is no one in this station right now. Absolutely zero people right here. There it is. Great white. That owl just looks disappointed, honestly. It just looks looks so like my dad confusing. when I fail the math test oh, right no. there. Oh, I bet you've never failed a math test. Right there. <laughs> Here we are. We are here at Steel Eel. Alrighty, I just got off of two rides here on Steel Eel. Um, I did them both with Alex, which was super fun. Uh, we did back row and then we did third row. Um, I would personally, I like back better. I like getting whipped over the drops, really getting um, that feeling in your stomach. Um, but I mean, the front for sure like gives a nice pop of airtime as you as you go up the hills which is super cool yeah it definitely gives you the floating effects um in the front versus more like sustained stronger airtime in the back i would say so yeah overall great ride we're pretty much just going to ride some more coasters and uh i'll i'll catch you guys pretty much when we're about to leave Alrighty guys, that's really going to be it for our day here at SeaWorld. Um, we pretty much got all of the things accomplished. We rode a whole bunch of rides, got our first ride on Texas Stingray right behind me. Um, and of course we met Alec and of course had an amazing time here with my dad. Um, it was definitely a very successful day. Um, highly recommend this park, it's amazing, super underrated park. Um, 
always great to come back out here and especially now that they have Texas Stingray um, it's super awesome so anyways that's really gonna be it like I said so like comment subscribe and share this video and I'll see you guys all next time peace out